Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, January 8th, and I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes as I go through everything in preparation leading up to tonight's wild game. They're playing at home, actually, a back-to-back. -back. Last night, they were just in Buffalo, so they flew home last night, got back, probably assumingly some point in the morning, and will be back at home taking on the St. Louis Blues tonight. Puck drop 6 p.m. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of what a game day is like for me. Um, right now, I'm just drinking my coffee. It's 9 a.m., I don't have to get to the rink until 3 p.m., so I'm drinking my coffee, watching Sunday NFL Countdown, and just chilling before everything really gets going. I then went upstairs to go do my hair. I decided to go with a curled look. We love a classic curl. I then went to go touch up my makeup, and then the hardest part of it all, picking out what I'm gonna wear. All right, I am all ready now. This is my look before I get to the rink and I end up changing. Um, however, I love shoes. So let's just take a moment for the shoes really quick. These boots are like my favorite pair in the whole wide world. How stinking cute. I just got to St. Paul and now it is time to head to the rink. One of my favorite parts of game day is getting to walk to the rink. I love downtown St. Paul. It has always been my favorite of the Twin Cities ever since I was little. So I decided to take advantage of the super nice weather and the sunshine that we were having. I get to the rink three hours before the game starts because we have our production meeting, which we are doing right here, going over everything on our script for the night. I am here with the DJ of the Minnesota Wild, DJ YS. Yes, and we definitely took advantage of getting pictures right here, so coming soon literally the best photo spot in the entire right. arena right, right. I mean, there why wouldn't you right i mean you'd be <laughs> stupid not to <laughs> let's go wild after that we headed downstairs for our team dinner prior to puck drop Please. <laughs> 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 Big soup girl over here. Tonight's soup of the day is chili, so I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> Stop laughing. And <laughs> be serious, Sean. Get it together. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite and rate it on a scale of one to ten. So one bite, you know the rules. Nine point five out of ten. This is good. It's even got a little kick to it. Real good. <laughs> this is Kelly, the best elevator attendant there is. The greatest. And there's Joe Sutton, the man, the myth, the legend, my co-host. We're heading downstairs. And Kelly, we'll see you in a bit. All right. After our hit during the pregame, prior to puck drop, then we get some downtime to sit and watch the intro video. And also one of my favorite things is the Let's Play Hockey Call. Someone new every single game. And then before you know it, the puck is dropped and we are on our way. Once the game is underway, there's a number of live hits that we have during the media timeouts and intermissions, starting in the first all the way through the third, and this is one of them. I am here with Shandy now. It is the middle of first intermission. She's part of the promo crew. Look at her all decked out. There really is something new every game. This night just so happened to be Nordy's 16th birthday party, and he brought in some special guests. That is all she wrote for tonight. Me and Joe are done as of halfway through the third period, so now we go back up to the press box. Joe, how was tonight's game? It was good. Kirsten was the MVP. She had the best reads, the best games, the best I'm contestants. So sorry. Good. And uh, she fell in love with a fan. <laughs> Thank you for throwing that in there. Um, I disagree, but I'll take the compliment. But tonight was a fun game. I think this was one of our 
Best games yet. It was a lot of fun. You might see this. <laughs> I just got home from the game. Wild did unfortunately end up losing to St. Louis 3-0. So not the outcome I was hoped for, but... It do be like that sometimes. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I think I'm gonna do a lot more because this is a lot of fun. So that is a day in the life of me when I work a wild game.